Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I have two things I want to talk about in the game. And the first one starts with... Last week, Niantic has announced the next Community Day. Which is something I had been speculating and predicting on. Would happen. Oshawott Community Day. Sunday, September 19th, 2021. From 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. No details on the story event relating to this community day have been announced as of this recording. And of course, Shiny Oshawott is confirmed. And of course, the move it gets will likely be the move that Squirtle, Totodile, Mudkip, and Pimplup's evolutions got when you evolved the Pokemon stage after those stages gets. And of course, I will be making a video about that community day as well. In other Pokemon news, as a result of the Hera's Niantic campaign, and of course, this week, Niantic has brought back 80 kilometers to Pokemon Go. The temporary increased distance is now officially permanent. So now you'll be able to spin Pokestops, gyms, and even battle gyms and do raids that you normally were not able to do from 40 meters. In the wake of Niantic temporarily removing this during the ending of these bonuses earlier this month, Niantic announced that they decided to bring it back and people like Trainer Tips spoke with Niantic and of course this is great news because this definitely will keep Pokemon Go alive for years to come and of course Trainer Tips was among a handful of people invited to speak with Niantic about this issue. I'll be sure to post the link to his video in the description below. One more thing. I will be streaming again on Twitch this Saturday afternoon between 1 and 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and of course my Harry Potter Wizards Unite play video from last weekend's Community Day is now available on my channel this channel and of course the video involving me swimming with the Pennsylvania Mermaid Pod might not happen this year. That might have to be put on hold until further notice. Because this summer hasn't been friendly to me. But hopefully, I will get around to shooting this video. For now, this project is on the back burner, along with a documentary about what it's like to mermaid. And of course, what I meant to say is what it's like to get involved with mermaiding and how the sport that grew out of fantasy is a reality and people like myself like to do and of course later this summer possibly into the early fall I may go back to Dutch Springs 
to go scuba diving one last time because Dutch Springs is on the verge of closing. But of course, recent developments have said about it, it might be alive under different owners' hands. And of course, I like to wish the owners of Dutch Springs, Stu and his wife, a happy retirement. You deserve it. And of course, whatever the outcome is, I'll never forget the memories I had diving at Dutch Springs from when I got certified to even my friend Jessie Fredlin when she got certified to dive with our friends from Philadelphia, and of course when I went back up there last fall. Thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, carry hand sanitizer with you, wash your hands, and most importantly, get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe, stay healthy and together. We are finally getting through these dark times, but we're not out of the woods just yet.